Hey guys, Turkey Cat here. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate the most difficult boss in Nax, or what some people consider to be the most difficult boss in Nax. These slimes. Um, a lot of people have trouble with these, and especially um, you know on wipe recoveries, having to run through them many, many times in the same raid can be really frustrating for some people. Uh, where personally, I don't think that these are difficult. And um, yeah, I die on them every now and then for one reason or another, uh, which you'll see later in this video. But um, I don't think these are difficult. And the reason why is that I truly understand them, or at least I, I believe that I truly understand them. Um, and I think that if I can help um, demonstrate the issue that I think a lot of people have with these, I, I think it really will help um, your understanding of how to do these slimes properly and uh, why they behave the way they are and why they're so difficult for some people, but not so difficult for others. Um, before I go into the how-to, I'm going to actually take a small segue and explain um, a prerequisite that I think might seem unrelated, but will make a lot of sense uh, when I'm finished. So um, we've all heard this term, server-client, or, or server-client relationship, or maybe you haven't, I don't know. It could be a totally alien concept to you, but um, essentially any time that you log into a game like this or any time that you access a website or do anything on the internet um, or even on your local network, um, you're a client, you're, you're a person that's uh, requesting something, and in this case we request these things from servers. So in this game, in World of Warcraft, um, I am logged into a World of Warcraft client. It doesn't matter, most people don't have to know this or understand this, which is why I kind of think that this slime thing might be poorly designed. Um, but when I log into this game, I have to connect to a server. Now that's obvious for everybody. But what you don't always think about is that the interactions that you take on your client um, are only being graphically displayed to you in that exact time that it happens because that's what we expect as human beings. We expect that we interact with something and an and equal and opposite reaction takes place immediately. Um, but it takes some time for the server to actually receive that information and then to decide to do something with it or, or to send back information saying either, you know, yes, I confirm that that's, uh, that action has taken place and, you know, you're still connected to me, by the way, or um, for it to say, hey, some effect has now taken place. And so that delay, we typically call it your ping. And it's just the amount of time it takes for information to go from a client to a server and then the confirmation to come back. Um, so, the reason why that's important is that when it comes to these slimes, a lot of people, and you can actually see uh, skeletons here from previous deaths, a lot of people actually will try to run through these slimes directly through the center. So they try to go right through the center, and then right through the center, and right through the center. And that's not the right strategy. And this is why I say this might be poorly designed, because you have to kind of take into account, take into consideration that uh, your position in in the world in world of warcraft is only being graphically uh, represented to you at that moment but that's not actually where the server considers you to be unless you're standing still like i am right now uh, it takes time for me to actually make this action and then for the server to confirm to come back and say okay yeah cool now you're standing over here and so that's why sometimes you might see yourself like moving around and then there's a bit of lag and then all of a sudden you're like back over here or something. Your, your character just like suddenly switched to a different spot or other, you've seen other weird things happen maybe with uh, other people, especially like, you know, they're here and they kind of jerk all over the place. It's because either their connection is poor or your connection is poor or both, some combination of those things. So what you have to do when you run through these slimes is instead of trying to run through the center, you want to try to account for that delay. So what I do is I try to actually run close to the tail of the leading slime. I'm going to call it the leading slime because the others are sort of following it. So it doesn't really matter which ones you choose, but at some point you have to decide to run through it. Uh, I'm going to actually demonstrate what not to do first. So if I try to run through this slime, let me throw on my birthday suit really fast. If I run through these slimes directly in the center, this is what most people do, and this is, you'll see that it's going to kill me. So I'll try to go directly in the center, like here, and I died. And also, this actually perfectly demonstrates what I was talking about, because you can see that even though I interacted with that slime at this location, and it was back here, and the server decided that, oh, you're too close, and the effect is that this thing blows up, and then when it blows up, it calculates the radius of the slime and decides, uh, okay, these players are within the radius of the slime affected by this area effect, and therefore it sends a command back to my game client saying, you're dead now. 
um, or rather you took 30,230 nature damage and then the effect of that is that it, I'm dead. So that's why I'm actually dead here and not dead here where the effect actually took place because by the time that it happened I was actually in this position and at that point it doesn't really matter where I am in the world it just decides you're dead now and my game client displays to me that I'm now dead. But you can actually think of this the distance here as being sort of the, the delay, the pain. So um, I'll actually I'll, I'll run back and do this the correct way and um, show you that it, it works pretty flawlessly. So let's do that. Okay. Now I'm back and I'm going to demonstrate how to do this properly. So again, um, to account for latency issues, you want to try to stay towards the, towards the leading side. Um, you can kind of judge for yourself whether or not you think that you should be more towards the slime or, um, you know, or less. But in my experience, I've played on servers all over the world. Um, and I don't see much difference. I've played on servers located in North America where I live. I'm playing on a server now that's located in Europe. And although I do um, sometimes notice an increased ping and increased latency with the server uh, on this server, that affects you know my ability to do certain things like uh, like uh, it doesn't really matter I guess um, like collecting song flowers. Is what I'm thinking, of. I'm always like the last guy to get the song flower. But um, really, when it comes down to it, it doesn't really matter whether you've got um, you know, a ping of 90 or a ping of uh, you know, 150. It's not really going to make a huge difference when it comes to the behavior of this because the radius on these slimes is, is pretty is, is small, but it's, it's bigger than you might think. So if you account for it a little bit and you don't see that it um, is working for you, then just go a little bit closer to the leading slime until eventually you figure out what works for you. But again, I think if you do it the way that I do it, it's probably going to work. So it doesn't really matter which slime you pick, just pick a slime and stay more towards the leading side. As you can see, I'm kind of adjusting as I go and ta-da, no real issues. And I'm not even going to cheat as a mage and blink through that last one, although I can, I usually do. But uh, yeah, no issues. And I'll even do it going back the other direction, which honestly might screw me up because I've never done it this way. But uh, I think the same rule should apply. So as long as I stay towards the leading edge, and then typically what I do in an actual raid is I'll move down the row and then go for the next one. That way I'm like not um, trying to chase after an individual slime. But I mean, yeah, I could sit here and do this all day and it's never, never really going to kill me. So uh, if, I think if you try it like this, it should work for you. So hopefully this video helps. Okay, the last thing I want to demonstrate is to try not to group up too closely to other people going through the same slime as you. It doesn't really matter whose fault it is. The fact is the game will determine that you're both hit by the area of effect and you both die. This can lead to some pretty hilarious encounters between you and your guildmates. Yeah, Come on, Beth. Those and the, you... traps are, the 